Go, hey. let's do it. How are you today? I'm great. Yourself? Pretty good. I want to share with everybody that I caught up with you at market, spring market, um, for like 30 seconds and, and some great stuff has been going on with you. And I want to catch up with you because TQS loves you. Well, thank you. I love you guys. I miss you guys. I don't get to spend nearly enough time hanging out. It wasn't a long enough 30 seconds at market. That's for sure. I know. What do you do when, when I'm talking to a lady and all of a sudden I look over her shoulder and I see you and I hate that when you're at market and people are like, you know, diverting their eyes, but it was like, <laughs> no, I got to get a hug from this guy. Sorry. You know, right. And well, so Albert, you, you know, I'm still the biggest fan ever because I grew up, you know, watching you and all that stuff. So to actually be able to pull you away from a customer <laughs> in the middle of the market, I think that's another level of achievement in the world. You know? That's awesome. So I hey, think it's a huge compliment and a great hug. Thank you again. Well, you were launching a product. Or you've launched a new product. But before we get to that, because it's really super cool, I want you to tell everybody what you're doing in case they've been living under a rock. Oh, right. Well, uh, man sewing is what I assume you're referring to. Yes. I've got um, tutorials that come out every Monday on YouTube, basically. And there's a mansewing.com, which is the easiest way to find stuff. But uh, yeah, sewing tutorials, quilting tutorials, some gear. Um, uh, and what I'm really enjoying is a lot of like free motion technique videos and little motif nice. videos. Nice. Yeah. And, go ahead. No, that's it. That's it. That's super cool. But you're doing those videos one a week? Yes and no. I'm filming uh, a group of them every few months. Okay. Um, yeah, it's with the Missouri Star Quilt Company. So I go out to Hamilton, Missouri. We film a bunch. And then I come home and I'm either on the road teaching and traveling and doing gigs. Or I'm in my studio where I'm at today um, creating stuff. I just get to be creative, 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 and then go entertain some more. It's nice. Life, life is very, very blessed for me right now. Nice. Okay. So you are super excited with what you've come out with. There, It's an exclusive. There's nothing else like it. And right. I want you to tell everybody about it. Because I, I was talking to you when you were thinking about making it and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I've been through the whole journey with you. Awesome. I'm sorry. I'm putting my cell phone in my office drawer below. It went nuts and I don't want to turn it off. I just shoved it in a drawer with a batting. <laughs> I, I want to see your t-shirt. Stand up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love so, it. <laughs> we have a couple of logos with man sewing. We have a sewing machine with lightning bolts. We have a hand sewing needle that is a lightning bolt. And then we have the flaming scissors. And I did pick it specific because I have a cutting tool. It's not scissors, but I have a cutting tool. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, that's what I think you wanted me to tell everyone yeah, yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This little, uh, it's called the shark apple cutter. And I named it the shark because it has a dorsal fin, which I created for safety. <laughs> so you hold it, let me see if I can get my camera right. So you hold yeah. it like a fin, right? But it also has a 14 millimeter cutting wheel on it, a little teeny rotary blade. And I started the design concept for safety in the handle. I wanted something you could push hard on, like see, I got my little mat here. So I wanted sure. something you could push hard when you're cutting with because it's really designed for curves and it's designed for intricate little curves and free cutting only, no rulers, no templates, nada. Um, but then in doing that, I realized, well, I could also make a smaller blade because the smaller the blade, the sharper the corners, you know, like all rotary cutters have different jaws, right? You mean like, like the tighter the curve you can do because it's so small? Absolutely. Yeah, that was the goal. And, and there's, that's the smallest. There's no other like it. No, the smallest before was 18 millimeters. And the problem, in my opinion, with the 18 millimeter cutter mm -hmm. was that people were holding it like a rotary cutter. So if you have an 18 millimeter cutter out there, it's when you hold it like a cutter, you lock your wrist, right? Because we're taught to cut right. to the extent of our elbow and our shoulder, really. And so what I want for this, again, look, I'm going to do it. Let's do see it again. Hold. Yeah, do it again. Sorry, I've been drinking coffee all morning. Uh, <laughs> You're okay. on fire. <laughs> always, always. Um, so what I want to be able to do is do like these curvy cuts with it. And the cool thing about that for applique is it makes a super clean line, right? Now I have fusible web already on the back of this because it's right. set up for applique and it's a petite. So fabric choice counts a little bit. Like, I mean, I'm not trying to cheat anybody here, but, um, so yeah, that's what it's truly designed for. So that tight little curving. Um, but if you do that with your wrist locks, you can't get anywhere. You got to have your, you got to be holding it like a pen. 
like a pen. You know what's so interesting is because I always think of rotary cutters as how many layers. So you know with the Mongo big yeah. one, you can get six layers. And then right. medium, you can get four. Hey, hey, now that's a pretty attractive tool you've got there. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Notice yeah. that someone great for you. Isn't it? Isn't that thing doing great for you? Oh yeah, people are going crazy because it's heavy. And so you, yeah. know, you don't have to push down so hard. The cutter does it for them. But then, okay, so this is the medium and then the that's small. Yeah, and then the small, it's two layers. Right. I, it never occurred to me to think about a rotary cutter in any other format, and yours is all about the curve, the tightness of the curve. Well, right, and I think most people are that way because of this safety feature, right? Because you want that ruler, you want the handle, you want something, that left hand, you know, and something you want to be concerned about. So the smaller the cutter, the smaller the blade. It was so funny. I was standing at Quilt Market, and the gal's like, well, the blade's kind of exposed. And I'm like, well, just cut yourself with it once. It, it's not really that deep. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> she, did not, she did not take my advice, fortunately. Did, but, did, did she laugh? Let's start with that. Yeah, she did. Fortunately, she did. But it's such a tiny little reveal on it. It's like, right. you know, again, I, I, I really tried to do it for safety. I also realized, and it's happening to me too, with the years passing, um, putting a squeeze on stuff isn't as easy. And a lot of my students uh, have arthritis, it's straight up. And they just couldn't grip. And so remember those endangered species quilts I was yeah. doing? Yeah. Right. Well, I used to do the kits and in the kits, they had those little rubber bracelets and it said uh, endangered species quilt project. So folks were taking and wrapping the rubber bracelet around the little 18 millimeter cutter so they could have a better grip. So this is just evolution wow. of tools and, and all of that through time. Wow. Um, hey, yeah. so, so I, while you're cutting and showing stuff, it looks like you've got some Popeye muscles going on. What's up with that? Oh, you, like, you like that? Well, uh, <laughs> I, of actually, course I like that. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm a little embarrassed you mentioned. Thank you, though. Um, I think that the answer is I got some tattoo work done a couple of days ago, and my arm is just swollen from the app. Uh, no, I'm talking about work. the other arm. Forget the tattoo Oh, work. this one yeah. here? Oh. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. Gosh. Uh, eating healthy, and, you know, I get I, – I'm selfish. I'm taking an hour a day for, for exercise. Perfect. You know, Perfect. Um, and another hour – at least a half an hour a day for my heart and soul. I'm spending time doing my devotions. I'm doing my, like I said, running or surfing or something. Um, just, I feel that I get to be in such a positive position in our marketplace and in my family. Like I've got these teenage kids and they're like, look what dad's doing and all of this. That I just, it's kind of contagious even to myself. So like I'm, I'm loving what I get to do. And so nice. I, it's kind of like training to be excited all day. People are like, where does all that energy come from? Um, it's just like I'm I'm thrilled. I feel so so very very blessed to get to do what I do. I mean, think about what we do. Alex. I know, I know, I know. It, we are blessed. We are right? blessed. So listen, I'll let you get back to work. Today's your studio day. Yay! Yeah, excited. Another quilt I'm working on. You'll, what? Well, what is it? Give me a hand. Oh well, I, I do, and I guess I said that because I had to give you a hand, right? I couldn't just barely give, give a leak. I took a photograph of some of these quilt these guitars hanging on my wall yeah, over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I am actually designing, well, I've designed, and today I'm cutting out all the pieces with the shark applicator um, to make this new guitar quilt uh, that I think will hopefully become a pattern as well and stuff. But, uh, you know, people are asking me for more quilts that maybe guys would enjoy. Um, you know, they, they think man sewing is only man stuff, and it's not. It's just stuff that a man and doing, I guess. And so awesome. um, at any rate, I'm really excited to get to, to be in the studio playing today and stuff. Awesome. And looks going great, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. Peace out. All right. I Peace out. Have a good guys. one.